Good evening. We're live. It's 525. I'm Lauren Glendavidi, and I'm just so pleased to be here, here at the Center for Media and Democracy and Channel 17 Holiday Party. We call it a holiday party these days. In fact, we're celebrating the end of the darkness. The solstice is coming up on Friday night, and from then on, the days start getting lighter and lighter, and we like that here. Here we work, Channel 17 and the Center of Media and Democracy, to bring you free speech and programs that are interesting and engaging. And we're having a great time here tonight. Um, we have this party every year, and um, our staff and our volunteers and all the people that we work with, or many of them come, and we're so glad to have them here. The food is really good. So if you're watching this live and you want to come on down, we're at 294 North Winiski Avenue, and you're welcome to stop by. You know, tonight, we have um, a, a number of wonderful people to talk to in a couple of video segments. And first, I'd like to int introduce Richard Kemp, who has been on not only the Center for Media and Democracy, CCTV board, but the Channel 17 board. But most importantly, he is the producer of Near and Far, one of the most prolific programs that we have ever had here on Channel 17. Well, that's news to me. I, I, but the problem is there should be more people behind me well, coming close. They are behind me now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got people behind you. You're doing good. Tell us a little bit about Near and Far and your idea about putting that show together. The, the idea is that uh, my sense is that a lot of people who live in the greater Chittenden County area are doing very interesting things or have been to places. And when I find them and I invite them um, to come on my show, we talk about all kinds of things. And I think up to, to this point, I have about 90 shows or something like that. And it's just a, it's an informational thing. It's not anything that's confrontational or embarrassing anybody. You're also distributing the programs around the state. Well, yeah, that's another, that's another factor. Uh, I can't wait for the technology that will allow the shows to be slipped around to various access stations. And, um, yeah, I'm doing that uh, just as a public service. Well, you know, we have a little something for you. It's the free speech now. Thank you, Ooh. Richard Kemp, for being one of our great producers and real loyal supporter of free speech. Well, thank you very much, and um, I will continue to do what I'm doing, and I hope I get better at it. Well, you are. You can't get much better at it. Oh. You're pretty darn good. <laughs> Stop it. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Happy holidays. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. So we're just um, thrilled to have folks like Richard Kemp here who make Channel 17 possible. We also have um, Andy Montrell somewhere in the audience, but I would like to introduce you to Kay Jarvis. Kay is one of our loyal supporters. How, How are, are you? Good. How are Thanks you? Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Um, Cathedral Square has worked with the Center for Media and Democracy in a number of different ways. Yep. And most recently, we produced some public service announcements for you. Yes, they were terrific. Um, they've been airing on Channel 3, um, Channel 5, also Channel 17. And we've had a lot of good uh, feedback from our residents. And um, they were featured in our videos. And so it's very exciting for us. People would be surprised to know, I think, still, that um, Cathedral Square isn't just that tall building in downtown Burlington. Right. We have 23 properties throughout the state, uh, mainly in Chittenden County. Um, we're also in St. Albans and Waterbury. And these are um, facilities for people who are seniors and also folks with disabilities? That's correct. Um, some of our properties are for people that are 55 and older. Some are for 62 and older. Uh, some are for young adults with disabilities. So it really, um, there's a whole spectrum of housing opportunities. And I know that uh, Cathedral Square is also very involved in housing policy mm -hmm. because we're facing um, really a shortage in housing for these populations. Isn't that true? Yes. Um, as the, according to state statistics, um, in 2003, um, one out of four senior, one out of four individuals would be uh, 65 and older. So it really is um, becoming a crisis as far as having enough housing uh, for seniors and people that are in need. So it's, you know, so we're trying to look to work with community groups and anybody that's willing to work with us to see if we can meet their needs. Um, so if there's any particular groups or concerned citizens, we'd be glad to meet and see if we can try to help. Well, we wanted to give you this wonderful um, recognition for all of your support, the Free Speech Now Award, and um, a thank you for all of Cathedral Square's collaboration here to um, really get your message out and use the resources that are here for folks so that they can communicate and carry out their missions. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Kay. Nice all to right. see you. Thank you.
So you're watching uh, Channel 17 and the Center for Media and Democracy's holiday party. We're so pleased to be here with many of the folks who support us as partners, who support us as producers, who work as staff and work as volunteers. And we have Paul Gatanga here. Paul, how are you? I'm fine, Lauren. Paul, you worked your way up as a volunteer and now you're a field producer here at Channel 17. Yes, uh, I've, I've done the volunteering for like uh, six months and uh, now I'm a field producer. This is going to be three years now. Is that right? Three years? Yes, I think three and a half. Oh my gosh. And um, what, what is interesting to you about covering municipal meetings? Uh, it's a great experience for me as uh, I am from Congo in Africa. And for me, it's, uh, it's a great experience to see how um, things uh, are organized here in the United States. And uh, as I'm living in Burlington uh, area and I'm covering the Burlington City Council all, all the time, I know most of the, the things going on in the city. So I'm like uh, mm, learning more by going to this meeting. And, uh, and when I came back to my community, I tried to share with them the, the information I'm getting from the City Council. And they are sometimes amazed. They say, how you know all these things? I say, because I'm going to cover this city council. That's why I'm, I'm learning from there. And you're part of the um, African Alliance. What, what's the correct name of that organization? The Association of African Living in Vermont. And how many Africans live in Vermont at this point? Do you know? Uh, approximately what I know. I, I think I can be wrong, but I know last year we were like uh, 600. Yes. And um, how are people's experience when they come to this country? It must be a fairly big change from the really the difference in Africa. Yeah, it's, uh, there are big differences because uh, if we, we, we have to, to choose one, one thing, the weather. the weather. The weather is different. If someone moves, like you know, most of the, the African country, they are in what we call the it's hot climate. It's hot, hot. Every, every time, uh, all the year. And when they first come here, if they came during the uh, summer, it's fine. So they can feel like, so just a difference. Uh, this is a uh, different people, white, so we are black. So this is, this is not a big problem. But if they move from Africa, like now, if they came here, it's gonna be hard for them to start living in this, uh, with this weather. And uh, the second thing is uh, about the culture. Because they're gonna, when they came here in uh, in, the, in the United States, especially in Vermont, it's uh, as we, we know it's a white state, so they see people who are who have a different culture, and uh, sometimes it's difficult for them for the first time to to be understand. And uh, and if we have also to talk about the language barrier, as me when I first moved here, I was not able to say anything in English, and it was even I, I I was to the college, it was difficult. Imagine those people coming from the, the refugee camp and uh, in the village, they never been in school and move from Africa to here, it's difficult. So that's why they need some help uh, to, to show them how to, to behave here, how to act and uh, how to live here in America. Paul, I'm so glad that you're with us here at Channel 17. We really are blessed and benefit from having you among us. And uh, we're going to show a little excerpt of, um, a, of a visit that Nat and Sam, two folks that work here, Nat Aaron and Sam Mayfield, their trip to Ghana. Yes. And um, how far is Ghana from the Congo? It's like uh, five hours of flight. So it's a big flight. Yes. So I would like just to add, to add something, um, to, especially to the African community here in Vermont. I would like to invite them to come to Channel 7 because it's a community media. Everybody has access here. As like me, I start as a volunteer. They can also be volunteer here. And uh, there is more. They can come here learning, studying all about the TV. As me, I start, I begin with the camera. So now I, I, I can edit my piece. So I, I learn everything here. They have not to be afraid to come here because it's a community TV, it's open to everybody. They can come and learn everything and become successful. Instead, sometimes they're asking me to go to, to cover some party. I say, I'm busy, I'm, I have work to do. So they can come here so they can do their own movie. 
Well, thanks for that. We and I that would be open to anybody who's watching. That Channel 17 is for you. And um, the trip to Ghana actually was a trip to uh, the launching, the opening of a new television station there. So we're going to watch some of that tape now. Here we go. behind us too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you kidding me? Look, 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 look. No. Is that fake? It's not fake. No, I'm close. I am close. No, I am close. I am close enough. No, I think that this is really close enough. I really think that it is, actually. Uh, Look what she's doing. No. I want you to come and touch it. No. Can you pet it again? I'm going to pick your picture. No. Okay. No more. No more. No. I've never. No. I've never patted no. a crocodile before. I want you to come. I want you to come. He will. You come with me? Sure. Yeah, you have good. But. Are you filming that? Is he full of food? <laughs> Why would he not want to. You touch it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Touch it. Come closer. 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 Mm -hmm. No, this is fine. <laughs> I really don't see why. One more time. <laughs> I didn't get the whole thing. One more time. Matt, can you do it one more time? Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't see why I have to do it one more time. I don't see why I have to do it. Oh, this car. My sweet this car. Yeah, no, huh? I believe you. I believe you. I'm, I'm not going to go. I believe you. No, I'm not. You have to hold my hand. Are you sure about this? Yeah, yeah. Did he just eat? Yes. He just ate? <laughs> Did he eat a lot? Of course I'm happy. <laughs> Did he eat a lot of food? Yes, yeah, I'm not. To, I'm not going near the head. Oh. Back. I had to ask if people sit here. No, 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 no more. Is that it? No, 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 no. Do you like that? It's really a beautiful color and texture. Yeah. I mean, get a close up of his belly. It's a oh my goodness. This woman. No, what are you doing? I want this to do. No, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> what? Please is don't. What's going on right now? Oh. Channel 17 Center for Media and Democracy party with Demir, who Plant is one of our very loyal field producers. Absolutely, yeah. So last night you were at the Essex Select Board. Any big news from there? Uh, not really. It was kind of boring. They usually, you know, exciting, you know, but, you know, they had, uh, you know, pretty steady meeting last night, except you were there, you know, you got the good news, you know, about the Internet. And the clickable meeting agendas. Yeah. But um, didn't Jeff Carr announce that he was stepping down? Jeff Carr definitely, you know, after so many years, I think since 99, he's been a chair in Essex and he's going to be uh, stepping down, not actually not going to seek the fourth term, you know, but still, still will 
stay in a public life uh, as a chair and uh, uh, you know MPO uh, CCC MPO, which is a Chittenden County Metropolitan Organization. Yep. You know, and he's gonna be present there, and um, we all like that. So tell me, what t is the most interesting thing to you about being a field producer for Channel 17? Uh, I don't know. Uh, th all these meetings, you know, you kind of get a lot of uh, news and uh, happenings around in, in, in the area that, that the other people don't know, you know. A lot of good things that to find out, you know, what's going on around. Uh, some history, some, you know... If, if you get a chance to, to shoot something like, a, for example, Williston Explorer, you know, uh, uh, geographic actually, Williston Geographic, getting to know the history of Williston area, you know, just the Williston, the small part of, you know, throughout the, 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 the centuries and millenniums, you know, up to the day, uh, it's, it's exciting to be actually part of all that, you know, you, you, I feel like a... You know. Well, we're so glad to have you, and thank you so much for coming tonight. I'll let you finish your dinner. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, thanks. We have um, some volunteers that we're going to round up, and um, Jess is doing that for us, but I just wanted to let you know that one of the things that we've been doing here at Channel 17 is developing clickable meeting agendas, so you can now go on um, to our website, channel17.org, and come on over, Ivan, and uh, check out the City of Burlington meetings which you can watch the meetings agenda item by agenda item so check that out because we're trying to do that for all the other seven member communities and coming up soon the Metropol Metropolitan Planning Organization will be having their meetings in the clickable meeting agenda form too. Ivan McMullen thanks for joining us. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. So you are a long-standing volunteer here at Channel 17. Yeah. And tell us why you come back week after week to work on the cameras with your mom and Jonathan. Oh, I know. I've always had this interest in film, and it's uh, you know it kind of satisfies a niche in your in your system to just get involved in uh, working with cameras and stuff like that in film. And what about the uh, programs themselves? Do you find those interesting? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, now you've really. <laughs> I put you on the spot. Well, a few of them are. Yeah. <laughs> what one do you like the best? Oh man, we had, oh man, I wish I could remember which one it was. Well, while you're thinking, I'm going to get your your thank you award. I mean, this is for you, the Free Speech Now Award, to so thank you so much for being with us and helping out here at Channel 17 okay. and the Center for Media and Democracy. All right. Thanks thank a lot. You. Thank Love you. you. Ivan's the best. Oh, man. Thanks. All right, Don, how you doing? Volunteer par excellence. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. So tell us why you volunteer your time here at Channel 17. Well, there are a lot of um, a lot of different things I've done. I volunteer on Friday night uh, for the uh, Live at 525. Um, it gets me to understand how the system operates, how things work. I want to get involved more in the history of Burlington and uh, some of the people that have made it over the years. Um, and I've done some little projects along that line, and that's basically what I want to do is learn the system. That's great. That's it, yeah. Well, you have a wealth of knowledge because you've been here forever. For a long time, yeah. It's uh, longer than most of us like to say, yeah. <laughs> But, um, so you got a story about just about everyone, which is wonderful for us to hear. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of them. Uh, I know a lot of people here in Burlington, and you know, it's a great town. It's a great place. I like it a lot. I'm going to give you a little thank you for being with us here at Channel 17, the Free Speech Now Award, and a thank you just for all your dedication and coming back all the time. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. We're so lucky here at Channel 17 to have the volunteers that we have. It's just remarkable. And the field producers. And many of our field producers, as you can tell, have worked their way up um, from being a volunteer to working for us here. And uh, we have Dave Labraccio, who's behind the camera. But um, maybe Brent can show Dave being behind the camera. And <laughs> Dave's, just, um, Dave's just been with us a short time, but he has a real lifetime of... Um, of experience, so we'd like to thank you too. Thank you. <laughs> Free speech now. All right. Okay. We want to do Jonathan, but I think that Nat's pretty determined to go back to um, tape. But Jonathan, come on over. How are you? So I'm you. All right. How are you doing? Good. So you work with Ivan, 
and um, you volunteer on, is it Wednesday nights? No, it's Thursday nights. It's night. Thursday nights, okay. And what keeps you coming back week after week? Uh, because I like volunteering on the TV station. I like wearing the camera and getting water and learning about new viewpoints and different things that I didn't already know. And I've got an award for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for you, for donating your time and being so reliable. How many years has it been that you've been with us? I've been with, uh, I've been with you guys for uh, four and a half years volunteering on Thursday and I have a really good time. And I appreciate and thank, the op uh, thank you for the opportunity to do this. And I will put this up in my refrigerator and I will keep it and think of the TV station. And I hope everybody has a good Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you so much. There's a magnet on that, so that'll work out really well. All right, we're gonna go back and uh, look at some video from a little bit more video from Africa. I think, and then maybe we could get um, we can get Nat and Sam to give us just a couple minutes on their trip. So here we go. We're going back to tape. We were looking at uh, the crocodiles. Okay. You put your right leg in. You put your right leg out. You put your right leg in, and you shake it all about. You do the pokey pokey. We're back. Okay, here we go. God, the fun never stops here. That was the hokey pokey. We've got um, Sam and Nat just very quickly to tell us, give us a very short little excerpt about their trip. So that was the hokey pokey. That was you doing the hokey pokey. I was doing the hokey pokey, yeah, with those um, kids from school at the Divine Crush. And did you have a great time in Ghana? We did. And why did you go? Uh, to spread democracy. <laughs> Okay. Were, were we successful? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so when are people going to be able to see more of the programs from your trip? Later on. All right. We, we haven't we haven't edited any of it yet. And how many hours of did you tape? We're only going to come up with a couple of hours of programming. We had we came back with with over 20 hours of footage though. So slogging through it is pretty labor intensive. And um, right now we're we're just logging it and capturing it and it's um it's coming around. And you went in part to help celebrate the opening of a new TV channel there. Yeah, Ghana has it, Ghana has 10 television stations. 9 are commercial and one is an independent community access television station. So it's the first one in the country. So it's sort of revolutionary. And we went um, to go support them and also um, be a part of their inaugural ceremony, which was um, last month. It was in November. They'd been broadcasting for six months. And this ceremony just sort of kicked off the work that they've been, well, what they've been putting together for so long. And the celebration was was really intense. It was um, there were chiefs and the queen mother was there and there were um, the royal family and ministers of information and there was dancing and there was so we're going to look forward to seeing all that yeah. can't wait okay good thank you so much we'll look forward to that tape okay all right we're done we're done you got about two more minutes. i know i gotta bring christine and charlie over can you find them because they're making um the npas happen all right, so we've got a couple folks who have been working to cover the 
neighborhood planning assemblies and um, volunteers. And, you know, it's been years that we really ha are always trying to cultivate people like yourselves who are watching to come and borrow the equipment here at Channel 17, which doesn't cost anything, and we'll train you, and that doesn't cost anything either, to make programs about things that are interesting to you, whether um, it's something happening in your neighborhood. And we have a couple of folks who are from the Neighborhood Planning Assembly, but we're going to give them their award in abstentia because I think maybe they've just left. But we want to thank them, Christine and Charlie, for their work in uh, covering the NPAs and making that all happen. And I also want to encourage all of you um, to come and visit us here at Channel 17 on the air or online or at the Center for Media and Democracy site where we also are doing quite a bit of training for nonprofit organizations in how to use new technologies. So we, um, we're working in old media and new media and we're working to keep free speech safe for you right here in this community. And those of you who are Comcast subscribers and Burlington Telecom subscribers are supporting this work and we thank you too. Because what is it that we want? We want free speech now. Thanks so much for watching. And I guess I have two more minutes. <laughs> that's, you know, that's a bad broadcasting trip. So I'm just wondering, I think, I think we want to get Christine and Charlie. Yeah, that's what we do. We want to get them. So you can see everyone's having a really kind of a good time. The food's kind of amazing. Hi, Charlie. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. So um, I understand the NPA meetings are what you've been covering. Yes, it's, it's just a, a great opportunity because uh, the MPAs in Burlington are, it's like a neighborhood meeting and we always have good presentations by the city and by smaller groups like the Intervale Center or something. And instead of these, these organizations just giving a, a presentation to just 10 or 20 or 30 people, by using Channel 17 we're actually able to broadcast it to I'm not sure how many you tell me how many people see a lot more people right a lot more people and that's the whole point oh well thank you so much I wanted to thank you both you and Christine for um, helping keep free speech alive by the work that you do and you. and helping to build our community thank well, you so it's much that you're here we, we, we try to take advantage of you as much as we can well we so. love to hear that we want to be taken advantage of thank you you're welcome thanks for watching and stay tuned right here at channel 17